挂也来搞他用的这个行动，不过我是真勇敢的。妈妈，请你啊，啊保护着。Money, peace, take care. A beloved Taiwanese Hokkien song comes to life through the soulful voice of Kevin Dai. The Taiwanese Paraguayan model has endeared himself to Taiwan, mastering the Taiwanese language, which remains elusive to many young locals. So I always tell my friends whenever I introduce myself, like I'm Kevin, and I'm kind of a very、uh, diverse mixed salad. And the reason why I introduce myself like that. Is because I have this very、uh, diverse and multicultural background. So my dad is from Taiwan. He comes from Yunlin, and my mom is Paraguayan. So they both、uh, met in Brazil, and this is why I also have this part of my、uh, identity that is Brazilian. So I am Paraguayan, I am Brazilian, and I'm also Taiwanese as well. Kevin believes that identity hinges on where your heart and emotions reside. Usually, I will introduce myself as Brazilian because I spent like 26 years of my life in Brazil. But I also have a little bit of this Taiwanese part, a little bit of this Paraguayan part. So I'll just tell people, well, I'm a citizen from the world, and that's it. And the reason why I identify myself so in a, such a strong way with Taiwan is、uh, mainly because of my grandparents. <laughs> His command of the Taiwanese language has earned the respect of many locals, a tribute to his grandparents who nurtured him with Taiwanese traditions in Brazil. My grandparents they come from、uh, a very countryside area in Taiwan called Douliao and Huwei, Douliao and Huwei, right? So these two、uh, like little cities, they are very countryside. So. As we all know, as we go further to central Taiwan to southern Taiwan, people will speak more Taiwanese than here in the north, right? So, my family from my dad's side, they only speak Taiwanese. So, this is the reason why I grew up speaking Portuguese and also Taiwanese. From my mom's side, they speak Spanish, right? Because they are they are from Paraguay. But then the reason why I can speak、uh, fluently Taiwanese because I spent a lot of time with my grandparents during my childhood. Kevin's strong bond with his grandparents inspired him to relocate to Taiwan five years ago, marking his second visit to the island. During the first time, he experienced profound culture shock. My first time here in in Taiwan was actually back in 2012,、um, and surprisingly, at the time, my cultural shock was because here in the north of Taiwan, like you cannot find a lot of people that speaks Taiwanese. So at that time. I could only speak Taiwanese. I didn't know how to speak Chinese, so that was a very interesting cultural shock. So nowadays, the only、uh, cultural shock that I have to sometimes cope with is the relationship between people. Because Brazilian people are more effective. We like to hug. We like to kiss. And obviously, Taiwanese people are a little bit more hard to get closer with. So I think this is something that I'm still in a process to learn how to cope with. After serving a year in the military and gaining Taiwanese citizenship, Kevin fully identifies with his Taiwanese heritage. He now finds himself in the prestigious role of hosting the state banquet for the presidential inauguration, an opportunity beyond his dreams. I felt very honored. Uh, and very surprised at the same time, and a little bit、uh, nervous, because I think this task is not delivered to anyone. So I have been trying to just、um, prepare myself. You know, we have received all the lines, whatever we have to say during the state banquet. So I have been just trying to do my best because I am just like this person. I have this personality of demanding a lot of myself. So I just hope that I can do my best to make this state banquet be a good experience for everyone. Having grown up in Latin America and now established in Taiwan, Kevin provides unique perspectives on Taiwan's presence in Latin America and how he intends to continue promoting Taiwan's narratives internationally.
So in Latin America, I think it's just the same as uh, the idea that Taiwanese people have regarding that area of the planet. It's just because it's too far. So the amount of information that we get from Taiwan is just very small. I'm very happy to introduce this part of Asia to my Latin American friends. It doesn't matter if it's for my Brazilian friends or my Paraguayan family. So I try to show that Taiwan is a very unique part in Asia. It's a very important task for me to make people know, oh, so Taiwan is this kind of place. It's a very wonderful place. And you guys should definitely make some time to come visit Taiwan one day. Kevin's journey from Brazil highlights his dedication to Taiwanese culture, urging us to appreciate cultural diversity and foster understanding. His narrative exemplifies Taiwan's inclusive ethos. No matter where you are from, it's your love for Taiwan that truly makes you Taiwanese. This is Huang Chi Ho for TVBS World Taiwan.